Okay, uh, starting off from where we left off on our last video, I'm going to uh, discuss plugging a little bit of JavaScript into our website. Um, JavaScript is an actual programming language as HTML and CSS are what are called markup languages. There's no logic that's performed, they simply just style the images and text and things like that on our website. So what JavaScript allows us to do is make our website more dynamic and less static, meaning that it can change and interact with the user a little bit. Um, we're going to start off pretty simple. First thing you want to do, and also I should mention that JavaScript is what is called a client-side language, meaning it runs in the browser on the user's computer and not on the server. So below our uh, link to the style sheet in the head, between the head tags, we are yeah script and type equals text forward slash JavaScript in parentheses, and then in between our opening and closing, we are going to write a function, and we do this by by declaring function and then we give it a name and we call this my alert and for those of you with no programming background uh, most functions in here would go um, anything that we're passing into our function we don't have anything we're passing into the function so it, there's nothing there and then you open curly bracket close curly brackets and whatever you want the function to do goes in here and we're just going to make it give us a little pop up alert box and in there we're just going to say test alert and that ought to do it and then end it with a semicolon now in order to get this to run we need some type of a um, of an action we need some something that happens that will trigger this so what we're going to do is in our body tag we're going to do onload, which means once all the HTML is unloading, then it will go back and execute whatever we have told it to execute, which will be our myAlert function. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Now let me save this and we'll test it out and see if it works. And there it is. Open up the website, and sure enough, once it all loaded, we have a little alert box saying test alert. And that's how JavaScript kind of uh, incorporates itself, plugs itself into our um, website. And there will be more details to come. And don't forget to subscribe.